faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. If we confess, he will forgive. I, um, I was in a particular city the other day evangelizing and this lady uh, who was from Ireland, I think Ireland or whatever, she's Catholic anyway and I went to the local uh, pub uh, to read my Bible and I had a pint. I don't normally have a pint. And um, people were quite curious why I was in the pub drinking a pint and reading my Bible. And um, this young lady who was a Catholic walked past and she said, oh, you read your Bible? I said, yeah, I'm just trying to relax for a few minutes. The other guys are out there uh, evangelizing, but I, I just need a bit of a rest. So we got talking and she told me that she wasn't a very good Catholic. That at the beginning of a Catholic journey, she um, got involved with uh, somebody and uh, she didn't get married and you know she had a child out of wedlock and all the rest of it you know you don't have to be good you just have to acknowledge you're a sinner and we all make mistakes we all fail we we all don't live up to what we should live up to the point is that David here began to admit where his sin was, turn away, and when he did that, in that 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, we find forgiveness from God. Again, 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, I don't know about your life. You might be a Christian and you might have gone out with a, a man or a woman that's not a Christian you might have slept with them and you're not married and you think to yourself well that's it my faith is gone now I'm I'm not a Christian anymore or if I'm a Christian I'm I'm certainly not going to be forgiven again I don't know what what sins you've committed and I don't need to know and I don't want to know but what I do know is that if you have fallen into sin, whether a Christian or, or not, whether you're not a Christian, that there's always a way back to God. That God offers forgiveness, but it, it comes at the point where we have to acknowledge our own failure and sin. Again, I'll read that verse again, 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we confess we gotta confess we gotta acknowledge God I'm a sinner God I failed God I've not done what I should have done in this area and we have to confess we have to be honest it's very hard to be honest with ourselves it's very hard to confess before God but it's the only way to know God, it's the only way back to God is to confess and if we confess and turn away from that sin God will have us back but we've got to confess Psalm 34 18 Psalm 34 verse 18 the Lord said is nigh unto unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of contrite spirit notice the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such to be of contrite spirit if you come to God in a broken way and say God I, I've messed up here and you're broken about it he will not turn you away I don't care what your sin is I don't care if you've been doing a sin for years and years and years if you come to God and you're broken he will hear your prayer Psalm 147 verse 3 
Psalm 147, verse 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bind up their wounds. Are you covered in sin today? Are you are you immersed in failure today? Well, read that verse. Psalm 147, verse 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. God is going to bind up your wounds. You say, well, I did this, I did that, and how's it going to turn out this way? How's it going to turn out that way? He binds up the wounds, and God knows how to do it, my friend. He knows how to bind up your wounds better than you do. You don't walk at your pace. You don't walk at your... It, it don't happen at your behest. It doesn't happen in your way. But believe you me, God will bind up your wounds, but he does it in his time, in his way. And if you come to him and repent and turn to him, he's going to bind up your wounds. He's going to bring healing to your heart. He's going to bring... He's going to bring a peace and a strength and a hope and a joy. And a, he's going to do it. It might take time, but he'll do it. He's going to bind up your wounds. God has his timing. And he's going to do it. And he will do it in your life. Matthew chapter 9, 13. Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. Go ye and learn what meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. Christ says, I, I, I want mercy. I want to give mercy. And he wants to give you mercy today. God don't want to pulverize you to the ground. He wants to lift your head up, and he wants you to have mercy today.